she will run. Guys, this is the new Ruger PC Charger. Let's get into the video. The Ruger PC Charger. Um, wow, this kind of shocked a lot of people when Ruger announced it just a few days ago. I've had this pistol for, I don't know, several weeks now, I've put some rounds through it, and it's fun to shoot. Now, there are a lot of little pistol uh, platforms on the market that, you know, whether it be SIG or whoever have you, it's a really competitive market right now with all these little pistol variations that you can attach braces onto. But Ruger, um, I think they did a really good job on this one. Now, if you're familiar with the regular PC carbine, I've made a couple of videos on the PC carbine down through the years, and this is basically their pistol version. Now, if you buy this setup, this is what you get. All right, first and foremost, it is a takedown model. All right, of course, it's chambered in nine millimeter, and you do have your M-lock slots on either side of the hand grip. It has a hand stop right here to keep you from getting your hand in front of the muzzle. You know, I, I shoot it best with one finger in front of it. That's probably not the best way to grip it, but I've got really, really large hands, and it's hard for me to get a good purchase underneath um, you know, between the hand guard here, I guess I can open it out a little bit more, but it's best for me if I put one finger in front of it. I probably won't advise you to do that, but it does have a hand stop right here. Keep your hand going in front of the muzzle. Your magazine release, of course, is on the left-hand side. And just like the regular Ruger chargers, you can swap out the, the bolt handle either on the left or right-hand side. I chose on the pistol platform to swap it out on the left-hand side. So if I run the pistol dry, I can just simply keep my dominant hand right here on the 8-2 style grip and put another magazine in and charge the pistol. All right, since this is a pistol and not a rifle, this is a brace, this is not a stock, this is a brace. This is an SB Tactical brace. Uh, this particular one folds. I picked this one up at Brownells and it simply folds and tucks right underneath the bolt handle right there. And on the rear of the PC charger, you have your standard 1913 rail. So any kind of brace that you would like to get that accepts the uh, 1913 rail on the rear here will work on this particular pistol. I'm really fond of the SB Tactical braces. I've been using them for years, and this is a perfect, perfect setup. I like it, they give you three different slots. So if you have high cheekbones or low cheekbones, and if you wanna use some kind of a red dot on top of the pistol, you can choose by just pretty much putting this bracket on either of those three slots. So I got pretty high cheekbones, but I put it on the very bottom, so that'll get me you know, right exactly where I need it. So when I come up and put this brace against my cheek, the dot is lined up perfect in the middle of this little aim point. Just like the other PC uh, carbine aftermarket products and parts, it will work. So if you want to get Tandem Cross magazine release, or if you want to use a Vacortion trigger in it, you can. Now, the barrel is threaded half by 28, and that is one of the beautiful things about a little setup like this, is that you can thread a suppressor on there. And I'm going to do that right about now. I don't like shooting uh, guns anymore <laughs> without a suppressor. I'm, I guess I'm kind of spoilt. So right here, I have my Atlas suppressor. This is their Pylum. 9 millimeter threaded half by 28. We're going to thread this bad boy on here and we're going to do a little bit more shooting. All right, we are good and tight. So I've got loaded up some, not in that magazine, got a bunch of 33 round happy sticks and I've got some federal uh, 9 millimeter suppressor ammo. So this should be pretty quiet. Now I'm not even going to put ears in. So here we go. All right, let's go across the creek. All right, where's my hold? I think I gotta shoot, aim a little bit to the left. Yep. Not that much to the left. So yeah, she will run. Like I said, 
put several hundred rounds through this pistol the past couple of weeks. I have not had one hiccup. Now I may hiccup on video, but I have not had one hiccup. And I've shot uh, 115 in the you know 115 grain nine millimeter. Beginning of the video, I was shooting 124. And now I think the suppressor ammo is 124 also. All right, let's go out to 100. Let's see if I know where my hold is on this. All right, beside that big plate that I just hit, there is a three inch steel plate. Let's see if I can ring it a few times with this little nine millimeter pistol. Don't know exactly where my hold is with this ammo. Okay, I shot a little bit to the right. Let me aim a little bit farther to the left. Not that far, Dave. Oh, there we go. Three inch plate at hundred yards. Nailed it. She's getting hot. All right, what else can I say about the PC charger uh, that I haven't already said? I've already talked about the aftermarket parts will work. You know, I think this would be a, a perfect little bug out gun, little backpack gun, because honestly, look, take this off and I gotta be careful with that suppressor. It's still kind of hot. And you can simply fold this guy up. There you go, that's it, that's what you got. That'll fit in a lot of different backpacks. So simply just put the barrel back in, snap it, locked in, you're good to go. I can see the comments already in the bottom of this video. Well, how much does it cost? How much does it cost? Well, I can go ahead and tell you that this setup without the brace, okay, the pistol does not ship with the brace. As of right now, they are not shipping this pistol with the brace. You have to buy a brace separately, but, and of course, without the suppressor and the red dot. So just the pistol without the brace suppressor and the red dot. The uh, hand stop does come with this uh, pistol, $799. That's the MSRP. Okay, real world price of this pistol, you're probably gonna be looking about 650, 675-ish. You know, Ruger, like a lot of other companies, do put their MSRP a little high. And so I think the real world price is $650. Compared to other firearms like this that are on the market that cost 12, 13, $1,400, this is a steal. This is a really big steal. I think Ruger's gonna sell a ton of these little guys. I got one more magazine loaded up with suppressor ammo. Let's finish the video off with a little bit more shooting. All right, here we go. Should I go for the three inch plate again or should I just leave it alone? I'm gonna go for it again. Oh, I nicked it. Nicked it again. Oh, I drilled it. That's a three inch plate at 100 yards. Gotta be careful what I shoot. Almost went crazy and hit my rimfire targets. <laughs> Woo she's out. Ah, the Ruger PC Charger. Um, I know what you're probably thinking to yourself, when are they gonna come out with a 10 millimeter? Um, kinda asking that question myself. Maybe one day they'll come out with a 10 millimeter. I have no insider secrets whatsoever. I would like to see the 10 millimeter version of this, but it's now we have the nine millimeter and I kind of dig the nine millimeter. I carry a nine millimeter. I love the nine millimeter, but this is the perfect little backpack gun, range gun, whatever you want it. I think, I think Rigger really hit a home run on this. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below. Go over to my Facebook, Instagram page, or Twitter pages and ask them there. Until next time, y'all be safe. Keep blinking.